All right, YouTube, today we are going to play some Hollow One. Going to give this deck a try. I played this deck a little while ago, but definitely want to revisit it. Didn't revisit, haven't tried it since they added <coughs> Lingering Souls to the deck. So, I'm going to give this a whirl, see what all this is like. Here, I'm pretty excited. Oh, I need to update my stream decker. Rut row. <coughs> One. I can do this while I get wait for a match to pop. <clears throat> this is gonna be fun. I feel like I feel like spinning the wheel. So I I remember to fix my stream decker. Uh, Mardu Hollow One. All right. I've not played a lot of this deck, so I'm likely going to struggle a little bit with the sequencing. Uh, I think it's just a mulligan in this hand. This hand doesn't really do anything. Yeah, I'll we'll keep this hand. It's the turn one hollow one, so let's keep it. Put this on the bottom. We're going to see enough cards where I think I can get away with not looking at uh, bottoming a land. Ditch both of these. Only one hollow one drats. <clears throat> Wonder if we're playing against burn. If I had to guess, I would guess we're playing against burn. Aaron Mesa on one. Is likely either like the mirror, blue, white, red, or burn, I think. <clears throat> Ember Cool Aeon's Torn just flashed. Okay, so playing against blue, white, red. It's going to be a little tough. If they path me, Noxious Revival. Oh, so we're playing against Jeskai Ascendancy. Oh, we're definitely just bolting this Joker. Because <clears throat> here comes a Sylvan Carrington. No, no Sylvan Carrington. What is this? Oh, Pure Steel Paladin. Okay. So we're going to respond. Oh. <clears throat> Yeah, look at that. They're just I hate it when people do this. They just look to F6 just to make sure, like, to see if I'm, you know, still going. I hate I hate it when people do that. They're just trying to like game it, you know, they're not trying to actually play magic. Alright, two turn clock, buddy. Taste my four four artifact. All right, here you go. Just go to town, dude. All right. I don't understand why they repealed the mocks and not another equipped card like you just missed out on another card doing it that way
바로 영원아 But still doesn't make sense to bring back the mocks, right? I guess unless you need to grow mana, but or get more mana, I'm not sure. Because like if you return one of these, you can gain, but I guess you want to get enough mana to go off, but they're just going to town. That's two retracts. We're likely just dead, but such is life. Welcome to modern. <clears throat> oh, we're tweaking out. Oh, thanks, uh, Doors. Doors 3i, 3l. There, yeah, I'm trying something different now, just to for this stream here. I just wanted to try, play something new. I could just scoop, as this is pretty miserable. Another pure still paladin. I kind of wanted them to like kill me, which I'm sure that they can because they have two more. Maybe not. Like maybe they can't actually kill me. I'm confused. Hey, Archmage, how's it going? All right. We live through that. Oh. Some reasonable mixtures. I'm glad you had fun. That deck sounds fun. We're gonna hold this. I shouldn't have played that land. That was a mistake. Alright, we're just gonna crack in here with our Flame Wake Phoenix. I should have held my land. I was thinking I could just burn in Kree now. That doesn't make any sense. I was thinking it's Reach. Nice. Hey, thanks, Bruce Bye. The magic guy. I appreciate it. My opponent retracts, I'm just going to concede. And no, I didn't even think about this thing having vigilance or having reach. Nox is revival. Put target card on top of its owner's library. Okay. That's what they do. They, were, they retrieved. Put pierce still. Yeah, we're just going to scoop it up here. I'm not really interested in playing through that or making my opponent play through that. Like That's just not a very good viewing. Not a very good content experience. Um, let me look here. Doors three, a door doors three L. I think that's it. Thank you very much. So here, we definitely want this thought seize, and it appears we want fatal pushes. Lingering souls seems god awful. And so does Tasker. That seems pretty easy to me. Right? That seems like a pretty straightforward in and out. Like, maybe we're supposed to have Ancient Grudges, but that only really hits Mox Opal. That seems kind of loose, so we're going to try this. That is what I think should be occurring. Just submitted my Death Shadow article earlier 
today. I was working on that in between my streams. All right, I would like to play first. Oh, you missed it. All right, we have the turn one inquiry. So we got to keep this and hope we get there. So I don't really want to cycle this street race. I don't think. Well, I might as well, because if I could hit the hollow one, okay. Because I'm just going to do the same thing next turn. We had another inquiry, but they get worse the more you, the more of them you find. Then am I about to get turn one? Yeah, that's what's gonna happen. Oh, they're just equipping, so they don't they don't have any more gas. They do have a two eight, which isn't bad. Yeah, this hollow one is is we're struggling. All right, that's a pretty good draw. So I think it's actually worth it just to push this. And then cast another inquiry. All right, so we missed. We still haven't hit a hollow one. I guess I'm just going to cast this Flame Wake Phoenix. Then Goblin Lore next turn. I have, I still have four hollow ones left in my deck. So I have a 10, four out of 44 to hit. I think it's better to just get this Phoenix going. I just gotta get some sort of clock on there. My opponent clearly doesn't have a lot going on. The, I was like, the Phoenix is guaranteed, which was what my idea was. I kinda wanna get something going here. Okay, so one, two. So I might as well flashback looting. Now nah, we didn't hit a land. How tilting is that? Oh, that was so stupid. I could have played the hollow. Well, no, I might have discarded the hollow one, which is what I was worried about. We aren't winning the guarantee. That's probably right. All right, so now we're just going for it here. God, we missed both. We got rid of both of our hollow ones. Um, all right, I'm just going to play this Flame Blade Adept. We are so, we are so unlucky. Come on. So I'm going to lead off on Faithless Looting. I kind of want to ditch this, and I kind of want to ditch this goblin lore. Always yield. Play this. Keep the land in my hand, because next turn they'll have haste, and they won't know that's coming, and then just like play a evil land, burning inquiry, attack for a million. Get ya. Alright, sweet. Okay. So I don't really think we want to change anything, right? We've got seven removal spells and a discard spell for turn one action. Yeah, I'm going to play this more aggressively. You, you were right, Archmage. 
What are you up to for the rest of the night, Archmage? I kind of like this hand. I think I'm going to keep it. Just chilling. That's the way to do it. <clears throat> so I hit a street wraith. Jeez. I guess we're just going to ditch this and this, then pass. Next turn, I'll likely be able to go, I hopefully can go Hollow and Anger my Angler. Yeah, it didn't happen, though. And now we're going to die right here. Here comes the turn two. All right. My opponent was a turn two, was two turns away from tilting me when we started this game. Oh wow, nothing more. Okay. Yeah, I mean, I guess we just roll the dice here. What sucks is that we're probably gonna improve my opponent's hand by doing this. God, we get rid of our angler. So at least now we get plenty of shots at finding a way to interact with this. We do get to crack them for quite a bit of damage next turn. Here they go. God, what a what a fun deck. <clears throat> Tapped. Getting that tap seems weird. At least Pierce still doesn't utilize ancient stirrings. Ain't that the truth? Ain't that the truth? Maybe I should have brought in my lava mancers. Maybe I didn't need the blood ghasts. Hard to say. Wow, they're just equipped things. They don't have anything more to do here. That makes sense. Jeez. All right, let's. We can't even kill one of these. I've only seven cards in my hand. This just can't this can't end well for the home team. Alright, I'm killing the pure steel paladin. Do have a lot of faithless lootings to flashback, so we are gonna be able to just, you know, beat in there. Maybe I should have attacked with my flame blade adept also. Like, say if you want to trade with one of these, the other one gets in. That probably was right to do.
I just have to be dead here, right? Like, there's there's no way with two of these going, three, yeah, we're just, yeah, we're, 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 we're good. We're good. We're not going to play through this. Oh, I just wanted to play something different tonight. Just wanted to, like, I felt like, I felt like burning inquiry, you know? Like sometimes you just sit down there. Oh, I didn't see that. I'm playing twos and twos, so it's all right. Well, damn. I guess we toss that one away. I'm, I'm all right with it, I think. I think I'm okay. Okay, letting that one go. I would like to play first. All right. We're going to lead on the Flame Blade Adept. I think. Because we might be able to get the Hollow One in play and the Phoenix. It would have been a miserable 10 minutes anyways. And I, have better, I have better things to do in my life. I was going to play some Mardu Pyromancer tonight, but man, that deck has gotten expensive online. It's going to be interesting, like, the best way to sequence my cards here. Like, am I supposed to Burning Inquiry first next turn? Am I supposed to Cycle My Street Wraith first? Like, what are we supposed to do? How is that supposed to work out? It's just interesting. Oh, baby. Respect. Okay. We got some Grixis Shadow action going on here. Well, that just fixes everything, right? So now I just go like this. Jesus. Ditch this. Ditch this. Always yield. Cycle. Cast, cast, so this is why people play this deck, got it, got it, yeah, that would have been right. Because I was just gonna do it. Like I was either gonna save it for next turn for more damage, or, or um, I'm gonna do it anyways on this turn. So, yeah, that was that was right to do Archmage. I'm left up. Ooh, untapped. It's a bold strategy, Cotton. Okay. So do I want to cycle this now? I don't I don't think so. I think we're gonna wait till next turn now. Now that this is like I get punished if my life if my top top card is hollow one, but I think the longer that I sandbag these, the better I have. The, the more options I have to do things with. So if this is a Death Shadow, my opponent's in the game for sure. Yep. Oh, that's pretty good. 
So now I think we just shoot this off. All right, so let's get back our Flame Wake Phoenix. We're gonna play our Hollow One after combat. There's no sense attacking with Hollow One because of how Death Shadow works. They wouldn't trade. Just for good measure. So we're gonna try to play around Battle Rage as much as possible. Because even if my opponent goes Fetch Shock, they can have 22 points of damage. So if I double block with both of my Hollow Ones, This pains me to thrash these Death Shadow decks. It just kills me. <laughs> Had a fun day today. Had a couple good streams. Um, finished an article. Saw my uh, in-laws. Been a pretty good day. Okay, so I think it gets Grix's Shadow. We want. We just want all of. Like, do we possibly want 10 cards? I know I don't want my Lightning Bolts, so that's an easy board out. I probably can shave on some Blood Gas, if not all my Blood Gas, because I can just chump block them. Lingering Souls is good. I think Looting, Inquiry, Goblin Lore are okay. Street Wraith's great. Tasker's probably not good. And then we probably can just not bring in Thoughtseize. So we probably can just go with these nine for this nine. And we just really want to hit a Ley Line of the Void of them on, on one. Yeah, I'm thinking that's what we're going to do. Like, Thoughtseize is okay, but if we hit Leyline, then, like, there's not much that, that they can Thoughtseize that really matters. Because we've got Fatal Push for Death Shadow and Gurmag Anger against Death Shadow. Plus, we have Lingering Souls. This seems, like a, this seems like a really awesome matchup on this side. I have not played a Hollow One deck with Lingering Souls in a little while. I played against it from the Death Shadow side. This seems like a buy. Probably just gonna get murked after saying that. Yeah, this is a great hand. We're keeping it. My opponent thought sees me. I think I'm actually gonna cycle this street wraith. We're not getting it's not what's happening. Alright, I'm just going to play this Flame Blade Adept this turn and save my Street Wraith to hit a land drop next turn to be able to Goblin Lore. Excuse me. This match seems pretty good. It seems like we're, we're far enough ahead here. Already. I mean, this ley line is just backbreaking against this Death Shadow deck. Your Gerb Anglers are cut off. Your Snapcast Mages are useless. Like, it's basically just Death Shadow. I've been on the other end of this, and it feels, it feels bad. All right, so there's a land. So we can cast Hollow One. So always yield, always yield. 
I'm gonna cycle one more time. All right, we're gonna get in there with our flame blade adapt, then cast hollow one, and then I think we're gonna go for fireworks next turn. I could just play the flame blade adapt. That seems kind of mopey, especially considering like I'm in I'm in the area where. Um, Stubborn Denial like is live because I don't have very many lands. I could just stub it. Then I'm only attacking with two one twos. Which is pretty mopey. They're just gonna alright. I'm already lagging on Moto a lot. Probably gonna have to probably should restart it after this match. Alright, so they have Death Shadow on an open board. So we want to madness BGH. So let's let's get lucky. All right, so they stop it. Play a flame blade adept and then pass. Put it in play tapped. So we're dead to Battle Rage. I think I'm going to block. So I can't really kill them next turn. So I think I'm just going to block this Death Shadow. Make them use more cards in order. Like I want to be able to hit this. If I can hit this big game hunter, I think I'm going to win. Now we've got to kind of go for broke here. All right, well, we can get nasty into play. I probably I should cycle this first. Yeah, for that reason. One, two, three. Keep one Phoenix in there. Cast. And the BGH should handle the game next turn. I'm gonna block again. I just I don't want um I really don't want my opponent to just bad like we can beat Battle Rage, and it's so often that we can't beat Battle Rage when you play against Death Shadow that I think that it's worth trying to do. They just scoop it up. All right. All right. Give me one second here. We're just gonna we're gonna start Moto over. Um, so yeah, my name's Dylan Hubby. I appreciate all of you guys for hanging out here, playing a new deck a new deck today. We play a lot of modern on this stream. I play standard from time to time when I have a event coming up or um, when I've got like a mox that I can play in. Um, but most of the time it's just uh, just modern. Got like a little bit of legacy, but uh, legacy really doesn't excite me now that like even though it's it's good that Death Ride Shaman's gone, I really enjoyed playing Death Ride Shaman decks. So like I don't really know what else I would like to play for legacy that really fancies me. I don't really want to play a combo deck. I can play Rug Delver. Like, Rug Delver's up my alley. But, yeah, this channel is pretty much modern and standard. Um, with a little bit of cube mixed in. I've got a couple cube videos. Uh, if you guys want to support me, head on over to my YouTube channel. That's linked below. Hit the subscribe button there. That's free. And I'll appreciate it. If you want to chat with me about magic, get a hold of me on Twitter. Uh, I stream every Wednesday and every Sunday. And I stream random times in between, but... You know, you follow me on Twitter, and I always post before I'm going live. Got my cute little puppy over there. Such a cutie. All right, looks like we're back here. Oh. 
I hope Moto, you are just... Moto's great. I wonder what's going to shake out with the um, with Legacy. I would assume that like level one of the format is of the new format is probably like Rug Delver because Rug Delver was the best deck in the format before Death Ray Shaman got printed. This is what Patrick Sullivan used to say on the SCG tour a lot. Um, and if like more degenerate decks come to fruition because of um, I was gonna say this because of a lack of death right shamans, then I would think that the stifle um, stifle days force of will decks would be able to handle those pretty easily. I would like to play first. Um, yeah, I'll keep this. It sucks. So, like, something I've, I've heard from people who play this deck, it sucks when you, like, dis do a discard action without having a goal. I probably should have just fetched a basic there. All right, well, we're going to toss both of those. I just, like, it, it just sucks kind of willy-nilly faithless looting or something like that. Okay, so playing against humans. I believe this is a tough matchup. I think that's what the kids say. But I'm not sure. I have never played this matchup from this side. I might have played it from the human side. I would guess that Reflector Mage is a pretty big game. All right, Lingering Souls is not bad. I think we're just going to shoot off this Goblin more. Right, so we'll cast this. Next turn... I can't, I don't have triple red, unfortunately, so I won't be able to get back all the Flame Wake Phoenixes, but I can get back two of them. And I'll just Burning Inquiry on my next turn. Mantis Rider is also probably a pretty big game in this matchup because it just flies over my big guys and brick walls my Air Force. Freebooter gets rid of that. So at least we get two Flame White Phoenixes in play this turn. That's pretty sweet. So I'm going to get Sacred Foundry. And let's serve in. Next turn, I can like bolt my opponent, play a blood ghast, or I can just cast another flame wake phoenix. If I draw a land, I can go like blood ghast and lingering souls. I can flash back. If I draw a land, I can flash back faithless looting, ditch my flame wake phoenix blood ghast, and then bring them both back. Which seems pretty awesome. We have a lot of lines. They all seem pretty good at this time. Reflector Mages began, yep. So you just hit this. I 
So that messes my line of play a little bit. I think now that means I'm just going to send in with this Phoenix. And just go like six. And then I've only got to get in with one of them in order to have it be lethal to Lightning Bolt. I'll hold that for next turn. I think there's no need in like doing too much damage to myself. So freebooter. That's oh, an image. Okay, so the reflector rage one then. That's still alright. They need to they need a blocker. If they don't have a blocker, then these flame like phoenixes are are gonna be getting in there. And I can, if I need to, I can go something like next turn, like bolt something, flashback lingering souls, just to buy myself time. My blood gas have haste, which complicates things even more. My opponent does have a Mantis Rider though, and I'm in I'm in a decent amount of trouble here. Rogue was a good deck years ago, so we traded a diverse bunch of decks. Decks play Death Rite for Rider Elves. So what was there so many people complaining about Death Rite? Yeah, there was a lot of people complaining about Death Rite Shaman. Like that, that card did feel like unreasonably good, I thought. So I'm going to cycle my Street Wraith because I might find a way to get this Hollow One into play or play another Blood Ghast. So if I find a little land, it's not bad for me either. So now I kind of want to play Attack and Flash my Lingering Souls back. Because they likely block. If they don't, they don't. Okay. And now my opponent effectively has to keep back both of their blockers here. Reflect me to blocker. Okay, so block, take one, two. So I'm taking six on the board. Yeah, I mean, I get that, but the card seemed extremely good. Like, when, it, when I didn't play very much Legacy. I played basically two Legacy tournaments. Okay, so that kill me. Block. I played two Legacy tournaments. I top 16 um, I top 8 at a Modern Challenge playing Bug Delvert. And I top 64 at an SCG playing Bug Delvert. And it was purely just because of how strong... Um, how strong whatever that card is. We're going to get rid of these Blood Gas. They come up the ground pretty well. It was purely because of the strength of uh, Death Rite Challenge. That card was just ridiculous. There were so many games where I was just like, turn one Death Rite Shaman, turn two Wasteland Hymn you. I kind of want to cut some of these Gurmag Anglers. Yeah, I'm going to cut both my Anglers. Try something like this. And it's also just kind of like offensive that the best uh, 
the best ramp creature. Um, a rock again. Thank you for the follow. The best ramp creature in the format, Man Accelerant, to be played in a Grixis deck, which was like kind of crazy. I enjoyed Shaman Mirrors, and I'm I enjoyed playing Deathrite Shaman, but it was obvious. It, it was obviously very. Um, It was dominant. And the person that had, like in the mirrors, it was dominant. It it was good against the un it was good against fair decks and unfair decks. It was good on turn one. It was good on turn eight. Like it was just a really great card. So do I just like willy nilly burning inquiry? Well, that reanimator deck was pretty atrocious, right? So I think I just go Fetch Shock, Blood Crypt, Burning Inquiry. I would like a black land in play, a black and a red land in play in case I ditch a land here so that I can cast everything. Let's get this blood crypt. Okay, so we did hit some good ones. We put some good cards in the graveyard. We hit three spells from our opponent, which is kind of sweet. So I actually I don't know what the right play to do here is. I guess I'm gonna goblin lore. That was tough. I think next turn I go Flame Blade Adept into Flashback Lingering Souls and then Goblin Lore on my next turn in order to get back a Flame Blade Phoenix. Yes. So, like, there's that aspect of playing Legacy, which I understand, and that aspect of Legacy sucks. That people that are, like, they don't really care about the format, and the people that don't really care about the format are making the decisions. So now we're just going to bolt this. Get this into play. Like, that aspect sucks, and I understand that. I get why you'd be frustrated about that. Yeah, I'm definitely not a, like I, I. I think that I'm. I think that in a format like Legacy, I'm basically like anti-ban no matter no matter what because it's just not like that format is so expensive and it's so gee. So we're just gonna get like this is bad. Yeah, I'm just like super toast. Maybe I didn't go hard enough. I can't even like keep these. I gotta like fetch a mountain. F 
fatal push this then flashback lingering souls in order to like be in it um what was I going to say like I don't think they should ban any cards in legacy because the format doesn't see enough play and they obviously like if they really care about legacy they would get rid of the restricted list but, like, the reserve list, excuse me. But they're just not going to do that. Because, all right, yeah, well, we're good. We're good here. Um, They're just not going to do that for legal reasons, which is, like, I understand. But if they really cared, I think, I I'm pretty sure that's, that, like, that's what they would do. Because, but, like, now you, you're playing in a format that is so, like, financially difficult to get into. And then all of a sudden you just uproot people that, that are in the format, which, which I don't like. Like, you obviously, they obviously don't care about the format. So don't ruin it for people that do care. And, like, I don't even really care how heinous the format is. It gets, like, two Grand Prix a year. And Star City plays like two, um, two whatever it is a year, two uh, Legacy Opens, and um, and then it's like the the third wheel on team events, team team events. Like don't don't wreck it for people. Just because people are whining. And that's really all they're doing. They're whining. I'm just going to hold. I'm not going to, like, cycle my Street Wraith just for the four outer. All right. Should have cycled my Street Wraith for the four outer. I'm not sure how this matchup goes. I'm going to get rid of my Lingering Souls. Because likely, Lingering Souls is not going to matter. So let's get a Mountain. That was tough. This has not turned out great for the home team here. Humans does not seem good. I'm fairly certain my opponent should just pop this relic. Yeah. Seems like an adult decision for my opponent. We're about to get just steamrolled here. Um, I guess Tron is favored, but this draw won't do it. Yes, this draw will not do it. Okay. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, we'll play Angler next turn at least. All right, well, we're not getting Karned. We're also, like, kind of O-Stone proof, which is cool. I think it made sense. Banned death right, but unbanned. To ban Shaman or ban other cards? Probably. I mean, Gitaxian Probe's like just an offensive magic card, right? 
So what do I want to do here? I kind of want to play the Gurmag Angler before it gets discarded. But then it makes my Burning Inquiry really bad. It's like, how do I win? And I don't know. I think I'm going to cast Angler. And then play Goblin Lore. Probe's also just like a terribly designed magic card. So now at least we get back um we get back our blood ghasts through an O Stone, which is kind of great. So Cats of the Spawn of Satan, where does Canister, Canister like puts this data up somewhere? <coughs> so they just have like nothing in their hand. Maybe one time, maybe one time the Tron players is not, I had, I had nothing when I was playing Tron today. So, huh? Is that in the game? So, I think I'm just going to play out my hand. And like, hopefully my opponent doesn't umamog me. It's a program you can download. That's cool. I have to look into that. All right, all right. There we go. We're good. I yield. Okay, so against Tron, I want Thoughtseize. Ancient Grudge, that looks like it's it. And then probably just ditch these Lingering Souls. Big Game Hunter, maybe. There are two cards in my deck that are worse than, that are better. They're worse than Big Game Hunter. Probably Lightning Bolts. I'm gonna try this. We're gonna have to look into that. My friend's streaming right now. Wonder if we'll get matched up against him. Huh. I'm going to follow this guy. Let's figure that out. And that's just everybody on on Magic Online. So this hand's too slow, right? Yeah, that hand seems poor. 
10 seems decent. I don't think we want that. This hit might not do anything, but it's at least got like a flame blade adapt into a blood gas. Like it's got a decent curve. I need like a, some kind of discard effect in order to have this hand be really good. That ain't it. So I'm just going to play my Blood Crypt, play my Blood Ghast. I haven't had a haircut in two months, Nathan. It's getting long. But go, Nathan. Uh, always yield. I actually cast my hollow one, which is kind of nice. And cast hollow one and flame blade adept, which is sweet. Dude, Nathan, we're almost. Our relationship has almost made it a whole year, Nathan. This is pretty special. Like, you're. You've been here for a year. You're commenting on my hair. Like, I really appreciate it, Nathan. I'm not even playing a Thoughtseize deck so we can so we can be fast, you know? Like, we're nothing but pedal to the metal here. Well, I mean, it got serious 11 months ago, right? I do remember Dylan and Nathan Day. I'm just saying we got we got serious. Oh, wow. I'm about to big game hunter the shit out of this then. Show this one coil engine what's up. Get out of my face. I don't think I'm going to attack. I think we're going to. Hit the Death Toucher with a good old Lightning Bolt next turn. When are you getting back up here, Nathan? Another month? God, just Ulamog me, please. Man, it has been a tough day for the home team. I went, so I streamed this morning. I went August 3rd. I got that invocation. Got it right here, Nathan. Right here, I'm thinking about you. All right, we're gonna play out the last match here. I wanna learn how to play this deck. Yeah, I think Tron's just like, I think it's very good, but it's also miserable. Oh, dude, Nathan, I got those seal aways. Put them back, put them away. All right, heater. We're going to land, we're going to draw the rest of our hollow ones. We're just going to get our opponent here. Rising canopy. That's bad. All right. Let's see if we can get lucky. All right. We're going to get lucky.
Man, this deck is gas. It was either loving this deck or hating this deck, depending on what Burning Inquiry does. Oh, cool, that's dead. Bring this back. Bolt this. Crack for eight. You think what's better than Mardu? So we can play another league of um, Hollow One. You think it's better? You think Hollow One is better than Mardu Pyromancer? Is that what you're saying? I'm just I'm a tad confused. That's actually kind of big game because I want to play my Flame Wake Phoenix. My Flame Wake Phoenix doesn't have haste. Oh, that's great. We get to just we still get to attack, which is nice. Yeah, I think, I don't know. I don't really like Mardu at all. I, I just think, I don't like I don't like fair decks in Modern. I guess, like, I like Mardu Pyromancer is my favorite deck to play. And I was going to play that, stream that tonight if it didn't cost as much on Moto. Okay, so, but it just it just cost. I didn't hit the flame wake phoenix. Oh man, I clicked the wrong card. It just costs a lot on moto. That's why I didn't stream it. Oh no, you're good. Next time you'll be a fan. <laughs> you let him know, Nathan. Yeah, Mario Pyromancer is my is the best mid range deck, unless you count Grixis Shadow as a mid range deck, and then that's the best one. Am I gonna get Reflector Maged? Mantis Rider. Okay. My opponents, my opponents playing. We still get outs here. Get another one. We got. Uh, it has one in. All right. All right. Oh, this is a hollow one. Okay. So you can only attack with this. So they're just dead. Because this has menace. Or, yeah, that too. Oh, nice. That thing is lightning bolt. All right. Let's see some Jeskai control. That's outside of my limit, Nathan. Though I'm almost up to 1,000 followers, and if I get to 1,000 followers, I can apply for more, um, more sponsorships and such, which might make it so that I can have a larger amount to rent. All right, so we want all of these. We want the BGHs and the Lava Mans. We don't want Nasty. Blood gas isn't great. I think I was going to get rid of all my Delve cards. Probably cut one of my green souls. It's like 150 tickets outside my limit. I had three Scalding Tarns, so I think it's really like 60 tickets outside of my limit. 
Borrow from Scrubland. Yeah, if I borrow from Scrubland, I can play it. I should just go bully him and make him give me the cards. His biceps are pretty big, though, so I, I don't know. I'm kind of intim I'm kind of intimidated by Rafi's biceps. I'm at 920. There, a rock. All right, this is this is what dreams are made of. God damn it! This deck is so bad. I hate this deck. I still could win this. Like, I, I can go, like, Lightning Bolt into Lava Man. And then next turn, like, Madness out a big game hunter. Maybe if I draw another land. Yeah, Maru Pyro is a lot of fun to play. It sucks for, like, Tron, KCI, any of those kind of decks where you need you need a big clock. You know what I mean? All right, well, we definitely don't need another one of those. And that's why I'm a huge proponent of Death Shadow. Like, I do like playing Mardu, and I like playing Jund and Abzan. Like, I, I love Lingering Souls. Big Lingering Souls fan. Lingering Souls is one of my favorite cards. Right. What do you got, sir? My opponent named Lightning Bolt, I'm going to feel pretty dumb. Okay. It's not a bad name from the opponent. I wanted to do it twice. So I'm just going to lightning bolt this thing. This is where Lava Man is just going to absolutely destroy my opponent. I love this card so much. Yeah, this deck has a chance. This deck's very good as well. Um, there's our hollow one. So let's ditch this. This. Oh, shoot. Forgot we can't cast it. Nice. Damn it. God damn it. All right, we're good. Bottom answer is very good right now. I just got excited. I forgot I couldn't deal with the hollow one. I'm actually going to deal with one of these right now before my opponent, um... Does whatever uh, makes it like makes it like play a lieutenant at instant speed. Scrubland agrees. He can. Rafi's getting dangerous. I can't. I can't do that second part while I'm streaming. I'll play Jeskai. I'll Jeskai it out there, Nathan. Um, bing. So we're just going to wait. Yeah, sure, Nathan. Let me uh, pull up a Jeskai list that I like. So I'm actually going to shoot this right now when they don't have a vial on two. Alright, I'm gonna go to MTG Goldfish. There's like, what is this? For three mana, what is this? Xanther Necromancer, okay. Touche, my opponent. I didn't think they played that card anymore.
just guy control. Um, download. Show in folder. So we just smoke this. Cut Street Wraith, cut this, get this thing out of here. Um, but I'm just gonna think I'm just gonna. Um, we just cast another Lava Man. That doesn't seem great. Alternately, I want to take six. I guess I can just play another Lava Man and Chump Lock. And, like, that's just going to feed the other one. Or I can just, like, let it go, take six, and then just start, like, doing two a turn. All right, let me get in here to Deck Editor. Sorry, I'm just figuring out figuring out my next deck while I um while I do this. Multitasking. Get this over here. We're going to take Benjamin Nikolic's Jeskai deck. Because Ben is very good, knows what's going on. Dahlia's Lieutenant here will be pretty poor. Pretty poor for the home team. So Nathan, Rafi has four snaps. Yeah, you got it. You got it, sir. Five hundred and thirty six tickets. So four snaps, three negates, or three Z. Oh, they're going to reflect your mage that. Okay. Sorry, I'm just trying to do two things at once here. If Rafi has any Jaces or Cryptic Commands, I'm probably going to need those, Nathan. Looking at the prices for what this is going to cost. Okay, so this is just going to get a tap land. I'm going to end up shooting this Thalia and then casting Lingering Souls. Then looking to trade with one of these. I guess I should get back to my stream now. Better be one with Torrential Gear too. Yeah, no, I'm just gonna go with Ben's deck from around here. Like Ben, Ben's a Ben is a very good Magic player, and we're gonna we're gonna go with because he knows what's going on. Oh man, are you gonna like Xanther Necromancer me again? Jesus. So now just block. Yeah, we're just dead. All right, we're going to go to the next game. Yeah, we're going to play. This is the deck we're going to play. Because Ben's, Ben's, Ben's great. We're just going to submit. Yeah, I only need one. I need I need a Jace. I wish I could see. 
So this is the hard part here. Give me one second. Give me one second here. So Jace is 27. So I'm at 392. 27. How much does Crypt command? 27 plus 48. Okay, so just a Scalding Tarn. Scalding Tarn, Snapcaster, four Cryptics. I'll just write this down in here. Snapcaster, um, four Cryptics, one Jace, one Tarn. I would like to play first. So this is actually a pretty good like Faithless Looting Hand, so I'm gonna keep this. I don't know if you're supposed to, but it's like a good looting hand. And I don't know, I'm kind of kinda of wanna just give this a whirl. He has no tarn. How does he not have tarns? Does he have an engineered explosives? I have an engineered explosives. We're good. We're good. All right, we missed. We're just gonna cycle here to hopefully spike a hollow one. All right, didn't happen. Because if we cut this, this, And then one engineered explosive. Yeah, we're good. Oh, okay. Accept. This is quality content right here from the home team. Send a message, Nathan. Okay. So let's finish this up. So it's me. We're going to play that and pass. Thank you, Nathan. All right, we're just going to bolt this. Jeez. We should not find a big man yet. We did draw all of our bolts, which is nice. So download. Um, so we're just gonna keep digging. Jeez. It's like eventually we gotta find something here. God. This deck is this deck is frustrating, for sure. There we go. Get this fixed up here. I'm just like trying to multitask here. I'm assuming Geist is for combo decks and control decks. If I had to guess. I guess I'm just going to attack. 
bolt this, or I guess flashback my faith of salute, or flashback my lingering soul, bolt this thing. All right, well, I guess we're just going to deal with one of these. Get this over here. All right, so let's flash back this looting. Guess we just go like this, crack in. Play the flame blade deck next turn. Okay, so we're good to switch everything out as soon as I finish this up here. We're gonna try to win this. It's not really four, we have nothing on the line, but it's good to give it a give it a whirl. See if this deck can perform. Okay, lava match is real good. We're going to keep the Sacred Foundry in case we find the, uh, in case we find the, another Lingering Souls. We just take it, okay. I can't imagine what their hand is. It's just got to be reactive cards. This Lava Mance is going to do some serious work, though. So you traded me four snaps, you traded me a cryptic, you traded me a Jace. I have three Scalding Tarns, and I have an EE. Okay. We get rid of this to start. And then we can just flash back. Another Faithless Looting. We're going to look to discard this. Um, I know, I guess we're going to keep the Inquiry. So the nice thing is here, we actually get to just chew through both of my opponent's um, humans here if they want to block. Which I'm down for. It means I get to get in with Lingering Souls. I get my Burning Inquiry back. I'm going to attack for like 40. I'm just going to put this over here. I don't have any more, so we're just going to cast this. What is this? This is like a Heron's Grace champion? Yeah, that's exactly what this is. So what does this do? All right, so let's get rid of this. So we at least get to crack in the air for two.
Might even cycle this tree wraith. So I get to eat two creatures. I'm just going to send it with everything. I get to eat two creatures. Do they have lifelink? No, I'm not going to do that. Just going to crack for four in the air. That's right on time. So you attack with this. Three, three, these cancel out. If I can pump this at all, I should be in good shape. All right. We're in trouble now. Sounds good. Sounds good, Nathan. So beating a 4-4 is going to be pretty difficult. I guess it starts there. Okay, so it's not that bad. So hit this. And then we just crack for, too bad we can't bring that back, but it is what it is. If we've been really lucky, we would just, we would have just madnessed it, but we're not that lucky, unfortunately. So I'm going to get both of these, which is nice. And then my opponent's dead in the air next turn. So I have to either gain life or kill one of these two creatures, or have a blocker. All right, it still doesn't do anything. And that doesn't do anything. All right, so we went two and three in this league, which is not bad. First league with a deck in a long time. It's better than I went to today. I struggled today. I went zero and six with Tron earlier today. I went two and three with Death Shadow. Just for, just to let him know. That we we had it. All right. 